Hello everybody, thank you for checking out today's video. In this video, we're going to be covering how to add annotations to forms on ServiceNow. Okay, so let's go ahead and head over to the incident form and we'll go ahead and pick out our use case. Okay, so let's say that we wanted to add an annotation to the form. Um, let's say like for the description, for example, let's say that we want certain details to be added to the description. We could add in text, default text here that the user just kind of fills in. So like we have something like um, uh, steps to reproduce issue, steps already taken, things like that. Or we could just add an annotation that it appears either above or below this description field. So to add annotations to forms, you just have to right click up here in the subheader or go over here to the additional additional actions, right? Additional actions menu, go to configure, go to form layout. There's a few different ways we could do this. This is probably the easiest way. So we'll go to form layout. And over here, let's go ahead and scroll down until we see the annotation option, which is right here. So once we click it, we want to go ahead and select where we want this annotation to appear. So do we want it above or below the description? Let's go ahead and put it above. And then we have some different options here. We have like info, uh, info box blue, info box red, line separator, plain text, section details, etc. You can also add in some custom HTML here as well in case you're not able to get what you want from the out of the box um, annotation options. So let's just go ahead and do it a, a info blue box option. And it's going to say, please add the steps already taken and the steps to reproduce the issue. OK, let's see how that looks. Hey, okay, so it's OK. Um, it's kind of off to the side. So that's why I was saying you might need to get a little bit creative here with some HTML. So we could try to center this. However, when we center it, we're probably going to have like a little bit of an extra, some extra dead space below our text. So let me try that. Let's just add in a, a center tag around our text to see what it does. Stop showing me this. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's add center. And I am an HTML whiz by no means, so. A lot of these things I would just have to Google. Okay, there we go. See, so it kind of centered it for us, but it did add this dead space. So you'd have to get a little bit creative with your HTML. Um, an option that you could do is you could just select like plain text, um, one of the plain text annotation options, and you could add in like a span. And then within that span, you could add in like a background color. So you could add in this color uh, background that you that you want. So you see it's kind of this light blue, or you could change it up, maybe add in a uh, uh, another neutral color that doesn't stand out too much. And then within that, you could also add in the option to center your text. So a tag to, or a, uh, an attribute to center your text. So yeah, those are, uh, those are some different options you have here for annotations. So this is just one of the ways to do it is through form layout, but I believe you can also do it through like form builder and, and things like that as well. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing to the channel. Catch you all in the next video very soon.